guys, it's Paul, back for a bit of a different video this time. Um, I'm going to go over something that's become apparent uh, more so recently and just go into a little bit of detail um, about it, just to bring a little bit of awareness more than anything. It's not a complaint as such. Um, so, you know, I suppose it could be interpreted as a complaint, but if you listen to my thought process, hopefully it'll sort of iron out any um, of that issues or confusion. Now, I've seen a spate of my last probably four or five videos where probably more so the last four, well, the, not my last video, but the four before that, the, the likes versus dislikes um, were miles out. Um, the the likes versus the dislikes were different levels. Okay, let's just say for argument's sake, eighty eight percent like and the rest dislike. It's fine. I, I expect it. Um, you're gonna get it. it. You know, you could put out the perfect video, the world's you know in four K, extreme amount of detail, everything, and there's always gonna be. A person or a group of people that dislike it they can't help themselves and they will go out of their way just to dislike that video and if they genuinely dislike it perfectly fine you know that's that's their prerogative them uh, engagement features within the YouTube that's what they're there for and I just want you to remember that word engagement and I'll talk a little bit more about that um, in, as we go on but you know the content I put out is of my own accord I'm not asked to put the videos out well I say I'm not asked if I if someone contacts me and asks me oh could you do a video on then I suppose in a sense I am being asked but no one specifically comes to me and says I want you to do a video on that and then I think well I better do that you know all the videos are done in my own time I'm not paid for the videos they're not sponsored I earn no money from YouTube, I earn no money from sales or anything, there's no way for me to track sales or anything. If anyone watches this video then goes buys tools from wherever they buy them from, whether it be GJ, Safe Ventures, uh, Majestic, or any of the tools that I've shown lately, um, I've got no way of linking back to say that person's gone and bought that tool so hands out where's my commission. So I earn no money from anything that I do. So everything that I do is off my own back. The camera that I bought for doing these videos out of my own pocket, it's not even a business expense because I don't really use it for work and I don't earn income from it. So I might do it for promotional bits from my, my van and whatever, but it's not a business expense. So that's the kind of thing that I do. You know, um, I pop videos out there, one to share, two, it just helps people, you know, it gives an opinion. And that's all it is, is an opinion. Nothing that I say is gospel. And people are free to go and make their own decisions. People are free to watch the videos and comment and engage why they dis disagree with what I'm saying. They're more, you know, I welcome that. Because just because I use um, a dino pit gun or the... Um, Kronos, no, not, yeah, Kronos and uh, the Went, just because I use them doesn't mean the next guy has to use them, you know, and some people will have a belief as to why they disagree, you know, you're going to get that in any walks of life. But it does seem to be, a, a, you know, a, a breed of human now where they can't stand the fault of other people putting videos out and they just feel the need that they have to be negative or do anything that they can just to sort of, I don't know what you'd call it really. I don't know. Negativity, I suppose, is one word that sort of comes to mind. You know, they, this, they go along in life just being negative. The whole world's against them. You know, everyone chats crap. Everyone who's got an opinion doesn't know what they're talking about. There's only one opinion and it's mine and, you know, if if some people want to deal with that and be like that, that's that's their prerogative, you know. I choose not to be involved in that. 
Um, I consider myself to be quite a humble person. I'm the sort of person that likes to keep myself to myself. You know, I don't want to throw myself in the mix. I don't want to be in the centre of attention. <clears throat> now, some people would say, well, that's strange. You put videos on YouTube. Yeah, I do, but I'm talking to a camera and I don't look at it as I'm looking out to a crowd of people. Um, I'm in a workshop talking to myself, you know. Um, but I don't, I'm not one of them people that want to shout the loudest i'm not one of them people that want to be noticed i don't i'm not one of them people that i don't want floods of people coming to me asking for 101 opinions and and reasons for this and reasons for that i'm that guy who likes to go uh, and socialize with people and sit down and have a chat and a thing you know i'm not into this shouting and hollering and screaming from the top of my voice getting you know my point across that's just not me okay now if people choose to watch my videos it's because that person has pressed play they've either followed the link and press play okay and then if they've chosen to do that that's of their own free choice that's how i've always understood it you know anything that i watch is because i've chosen to watch it unless you've got auto play on your device and the video auto plays and you choose not to stop it okay um but that's been your choice not to stop that video or turn it off um so the mentality of what i'm going to go into doesn't kind of make sense and this is where i kind of sort of thought i'll put a video out there to sort of see if anyone else can make light of the situation or if these people that are doing it have actually thought about what it is that they're actually doing, um, the engagement that they're taking. And, and as I say, that word engagement is something I'll go into uh, and talk about in a little bit more depth. But, you know, I put the videos out there through my own choice and it's people's choices if they choose to watch it. Now, I don't force my videos down people's throats. They go up on YouTube. You'll only be notified by it if you've chosen to be notified. Um, and unless Google deem that video um, worthy enough to be put up in um, in the search bar or as a related video if someone puts in a search term, that's down to YouTube. That's that's not down to me. Um, so I put my videos up on Twitter. I share them, but again, they don't auto play. You have to click on the link to go to YouTube to then press play to watch that video. And the same with Instagram. If I put a video up on Instagram, it's only ever a link and you have to click on that link to go and watch that video. So you're never ever forced upon to watch my videos. You've only ever watched them because you've pressed play um, or you've wanted to learn something from them or see an opinion on something or see how something works or whatever it may be. But one thing I do do with my videos is watch the analytics. Because um, the analytics tells you a lot and the analytics isn't used properly by a lot of people mainly because they don't really care and that's fine but for me I watch it because it helps set patterns it helps with trends it helps tell you what's working what's not working and where your videos um, are being found or how they're being found now within the analytics what I've noticed is that um, when you go on and you search how people found your video essentially um, YouTube put up a um, a pie graph and in that it's all divided up into percentages of how people found your video was it from a search term was it following a, uh, an external source was it following a link was it through Google was it through being a subscriber etc etc now the videos that I put out early on, so not the last video, the four before. Um, I don't know. Let's just say 140 views on one of them videos. The proportion of likes to dislikes is getting more likes. Um, the odd dislike, a couple, three dislikes or something like that per video. And again, as I said, you expect that it's it's become the norm. It's, it's fine. And I, again, I I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> but what what's happening is is I've noticed is that obviously all of a sudden there's been this spike 
okay, in the dislikes, a disproportionate amount to everything else. Now, if the video was steadily just went like that and it spiked within a few days, fine. It's, it's because people have a general consensus that they dislike that video. But when it's sort of proportionately going like that and you've got 140 views, 20 plus people like it, three people dislike it, you know, it makes sense. You know, the likes to dislikes is more of a what you'd expect to see. But then when there's not an excessive amount of views, you know, like it's in over a period of time and then it's gone like that, it's literally within a day or so, it's just gone bang like that. And then when you look at the how that's happened, it comes from external links. Now, the way that that comes about is if someone's copied your link and post it somewhere else, people watch it, click on that link, follow that link, then go there and press dislike or watch the video, however they use that link. Um, that is how all of that comes to fruition. Um, so with that in mind, how I kind of sort of see that where this is, what's going on. So it's, it's, the videos have been watched and all of a sudden there's been a, a sudden surge for people to just go and dislike them videos. You can't stop it doesn't really interfere or affect my life but we just continue as normal but what I will say is the reason that these sort of things you see that someone, some people for some reason have got a dislike to some of the things that I show, say or do but they never comment more than happy to leave an emoji and that's all it is, is an emoji um, There's no thought process behind it. It's quite easy to just go and press dislike. Now, for me, the mentality of it, I, I struggle with. And the reason is, is if I don't like something, one, I won't watch it. Or if you do start to watch it, you just click off of it and find the next thing that interests you. I've got no interest in going to find the dislike button, click on the dislike button, and then go and find another, you know, you have to be a particular type of person to want to do that and if that's your lifestyle that's fine you know that's if that's how you want to live your life you're free to do so but the reason that i won't go and be subscriber to everyone like everything dislike everything is because it's classes engagement um now if i like a channel and i agree with the channel and i like their content then I will follow them. If they put out good content or something I enjoy or something I found interesting, I'll give it a like. Or even if I don't give it a like, I'll like their comment if they make a reply to me or whatever it is. Because it's always classed as engagement. Now, when you're looking for a video on YouTube, you don't go onto YouTube and say, I want to learn how to pick a lock but I only want to see videos that have got 100% thumbs up. You might go and look for a video that's got the most views. So how that all comes about is if people are clicking on your link to get to your video, that's classed as a view because it will start to play when you get to it to, from, to then press dislike. So it's classed as a view, so that's engagement. Then the dislike is classed as engagement. Now you can go and look yourselves on YouTube to find out do dislikes harm your videos and they don't. It's, it is classed as engagement. Um, YouTube doesn't use it as a means to measure the successfulness of your channel. Um, what derives the success for them is your views and your engagement in terms of how many views you had, what's the engagement, what's the comments good or bad you know if you have bad comments and you reply to them and you like them it's engagement that's why I do it if someone makes a negative comment and I don't like it I don't delete it I like it so that's two forms of engagement if they reply like it two forms of engagement and you just do that it's always engagement you know and it's not because I want to delete it because I'm desperate for that engagement I'll leave the comments there because it's an opinion now I'm not going to sit here and say I'm 100% right on anything because I'm not. I'm a human and I don't pretend to be godlike. Um, you know, I make mistakes, 
some of the videos I might word things differently or wrong or say something and people think oh he said this he said that slip of the tongue rather than re-record a whole video I just let it run and that's it it's, it's human nature to say things and slip up or whatever okay like this video there's going to be bits where I probably go backwards and forwards I'm not going to re-record it I might go over some bits a couple of times or go spit and spat from here you know I'll just leave the content as it is um, some people like longer videos some people like short videos some people got a, a a preference to the type of engagement that the person who's doing the video is some people like um the monotone quiet type of people some people like the uh life and soul and shouty type of people it, there's nothing wrong with that it's whatever your preference is that's the that's the fortunate world that we live in you have choices and you can make them choices you know um, but it's the mentality that I think that people need to look at and, and sort of think what I'm doing what is it doing you know is by going to just doing a mass call you know on the say so of other people's opinions to just go and press that button because you feel well, everyone else is doing it I need to do it if that's the sheep mentality you know and I've always said I'd rather be a wolf and lead the pack than be a sheep and follow the pack, you know, so, or follow the herd, you know, however you want to word it, but you get the point that I'm making, you know, and that's why I keep myself to myself, I stay humble, and I watch things and do what I do, and I do it the way I do it, I go into depth from things, some people just want me to brush over things, that's not how I work my channel, um, if you want to do that, there's other channels you can go and watch, um, and then if you want stuff in detail on a certain subject and I've got a video on it, you're there free to come and watch mine. Um, I just want to make sure that people are aware that, you know, maybe I should stay quiet. Maybe I should say nothing and just let the dislikes roll um, because they don't affect me. I'm, as I say, I'm not sponsored, I, you know, so I don't get any financial gain. It doesn't harm me, but I'd rather people engage because they've got a reason to or or what, and I'd rather people dislike the video because they genuinely dislike it rather than sort of saying, well, I didn't even watch it, but I'm going to go and dislike it. Um, I'd rather people engage with it for the right reason than just because they feel they have to because everybody else has done it because they're just following the crowd and then they can go back and say, you know, I've, I've gone and done my bit. Um, but again, some people live their life like that and, you know, that's in, absolutely fine. Um, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I'm fairly thick skinned, to be fair. I've had to be over the years. Um, you know, dislike emojis is the least of my worries um, and troubles. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd put that out there. Just one for some people, you know, you, you generally might have clicked dislike on that video without watching it or even really knowing why to dislike it just because. You felt you needed to and hopefully if you watch you choose to watch this and you sort of think back and you sort of think well oh, actually fair point um you know if you choose to do that it's fine if you still want to go ahead and dislike the video i mean you're free to do so um but there we go so i'm going to say stay humble we're at a 20 minute video so most of you who are interested are going to watch this those that are not have probably watched 30 seconds and disliked it <laughs> but hey you know, the video is here to watch if you choose to watch it because you press play. All right. So cheers, guys.